was all about uh, RPMs. You know, three months later, finally, I'm uh, actually getting to uh, finishing it up. I called him that same week I posted that video about it, and um, he was telling me that it was should idle at XYZ. I don't remember. Um, I'm going to call him again because I didn't write it down, but I did put a tachometer on there, and I noticed that if I would just kind of push the governor, I didn't need to this time because it was revving up pretty well. So it's all about probably the thickness of my uh, board that I'm cutting and everything else, but I just need to watch the RPMs, and he uh, make sure that it's running at the right RPMs to cut the board that I'm using or the log that I'm I got on there So it seems to be working great. I've got that one uh, down into uh, A cant for me. That's good enough. Um, I don't I'm, the live edge stuff that's left there is fine um, I will be making crosses and stuff out of them anyway, so um, now I think I can get me a couple you know, Maybe three boards out of that. So let me check I haven't been using the uh, measure stick yet because for me it's about crafts and whatever so um yes yeah, so that's five inches by five and a half almost exactly so i think i'll leave it just like this and see if i can cut um well, at five i won't be able to get three so i'll probably just yeah i'll cut three uh, i'll just divide it up into thirds and cut it and like i said it's as long as i get close to one and a half by Five and a half, I've got me a two by six uh, piece of cedar. gotta love it you know I just don't have a lot of time but like I always say just get outside do something and eventually you'll get things checked off so I've had that log on there for three months with only two sides cut and I was able to finish it up I'll let them sit in here for a while I think that's gonna actually give it a really nice look when I make those crosses with those um, With that, uh, you know, splits or gaps or whatever those are, I don't know. I guess it's where the tree didn't grow together or it, uh, you know, was irregular or whatever. But I think that's going to look really pretty on a cross, especially after you paint it with a little bit of that polyurethane. thing. As always, we thank you for watching. Get outside, do something, and we'll catch you in the next video.